Hey, I get a lot of people asking me what I use for like hardware and, and software kind of thing. So I'm going to show you kind of what I have here. Um, this is late 2012 and here are the devices. Um, let's start with the, the most hardcore one. So this is um, a picture because I'm not at work right now, but this is what I work use at work. It's a Cintiq. It's basically a giant screen, um, Wacom screen that you can draw on it. Um, so most of the work I've done for Skylanders, actually all of the work I've done for Skylanders using Sketchbook Pro and the Cintiq. Um, it's a great combination, but it's nowhere near portable and it's very, very expensive. This, uh, this thing alone is $2,000 just for the monitor basically, um, for the tablet and plus you need a PC to go with that. Um, so, but this thing that I'm displaying on, this is a Series 7 Slate from Samsung. Um, it's a slate computer. It's basically a laptop um, that w runs Windows 7. I think it will not run Windows 8 now, but it's, uh, it came with 7. Um, so with Sketchbook, you can kind of see um, line qualities here. Um, it's very accurate. The the pressure levels is pretty good. It's not as um, good as a Cintiq, but you know feels well enough, and you can um, kind of adjust the pressure levels. So with uh, with this combination, what I've done here is, uh, first of all, you can see that I can draw with my finger, which is not what I want, because you end up resting your palm and then drawing kind of lines in between and drawing with your palm a lot. Um, but there's a mod out there, if you press a button here, then it kind of disables the touch altogether. Um, so you can only use your pen uh, to, to draw. You can't use your finger, which is great. And then in conjunction with this art doc, which is uh, whoever made this, thank you. This is a great, great little thing. Um, basically what it does is that it allows you to use the side here as a touch screen. So even though the everything is disabled for touch, um, it allows you to kind of use it as a, as a touch screen to like, for example, if I'm working on that area here, um, color in this I can you know zoom out you can I can undo that kind of thing so this is a great combination so because it's Windows 7 you can run like really high-end uh, apps like um, ZBrush and stuff like that so um, but because of that the battery life is really bad and it's really hot so it's difficult to kind of have that on your lap for a long time you can really I end up putting it on the table and drawing like this but for a serious work this is great you can get really high resolution um, you know uh, with with lots of layers and stuff on on here no problem the the horsepower is is, uh, is amazing so let's move on to the other tablet devices uh, here's the iOS uh, iPhone I mean iPad um, if you see my other uh, I did a review of this thing um, so if you see my other videos you'll see the jaw touch so as far as the tablet is concerned, like the iPad is still my favorite tablet. I think it, the resolution, the retina display, and everything about it, it just works great. Um, I still love it. But for sketching, I find that even with this combination, it doesn't really compare to ones that are made with a stylus, um, with a you know pressure sensitive stylus. This relies on Bluetooth and this disc for as a finger touch. So. Um, you know, in general, it's good for just kind of have fun sketching, and some people can do some really amazing stuff on there. But I'm kind of rely on my uh, line weight quite a bit, so I don't actually prefer this setup compared to these. So let me show you this next. So this is um, this is a Galaxy Note 10.1. So it comes with a stylus like this. It actually, comes with one with a rubber tip, but you can take it out and replace it with this plastic tip, which feels much better in my opinion so uh, let me clear this level so you can see so with um, let me zoom in here so everything is really fast and really responsive uh, the pressure level is 1024 uh, levels which is amazing you know the Cintiq is twice that but it's also many times more expensive um, th I find this this is good and more than good enough. This is really super responsive. Um, there's no real lag. Uh, this canvas is uh, 2,650, I believe, pixels. Um, so it's actually pretty pretty big. Let me start a new drawing. Um, 
is 2560 pixels by 1600 pixels so I start a new new one like that and you can see there's like there's no lag on it at all um, it, you want to make sure if you get this combination with sketchbook pro uh, you want to make sure that uh, smooth brush is turned off I think it might be on by default you really want to make that off otherwise there's a bit of lag there uh, the pen mode you want to make sure it's on so that you can't draw with your finger um, you can only draw with a pen but you can still pinch zoom uh, with that so you can see that the, the resolution is pretty high here uh, I can zoom way in this is a kind of a soft textured uh, pencil so you can kind of see it's a little bit blurry but it's got a nice effect here's uh, one that's more, much more kind of much more solid looking so anyway um, this is a, a really cool device for that. Uh, I'll show you some of the pictures I've done with it. Um, there's this picture again. So if I zoom in, you can kind of see the, the line quality there. This one's pretty high res as well. You can see all the details there. And just you know some general sketching um, stuff like that. So um, let's see. Now let's move on to uh, this guy. So this is the Note 2. Um, this is now my favorite device. Um, so it also comes with a pen that slides out of the bottom. It also has a rubbery tip on it, but it actually isn't as grippy as the, the one that comes with the, the tablet version. Um, so I find it okay. Um, so you want to do the same thing like in, on, as the 10.1. The you want to make sure pen mode is on. So you're now drawing with your fingers and you want to make sure that smooth brush is, is not on. Um, if it's on, I'll show you here. Um, if the smooth brush is on, you actually get quite a bit of lag. I don't know if you can see that. But it's noticeable lag. So with it off, um, there's no lag. Like it's instant and it's really great. Oops. Text message. Um, it's really great for kind of just sketching is it's super super fast so um, with this combination you can I mean you can see here I have uh, tons of layers here um, and it works great for digital sketching so this is something that I've been dreaming for a long time a truly um, let's say like a, a real like digital sketch pad that I can carry around with me all the time um, these tablets the you know the kind of 10 10 point 9 point whatever size screens are great for for drawing but it's not as portable as something like this that you always have with you this is an oversized phone uh, it still fits in the pocket um, it, you look like an idiot using this you know as a phone on, on your ear but um, but for what it does, like it basically has replaced my tablet. Um, I just end up using this uh, because it, it is kind of big enough to, to do that. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see there's my like highlight layer. You can turn different layers on and off my you know kind of line layers and stuff. So you can you can get quite a few layers in here and, and uh, work like that. I'm going to see uh, some of the other drawings I've done. Um, I'll show you. So it's got really great line quality. I mean, I'm using a kind of a texture pencil here. And it kind of looks like real pencils here. Uh, all the way down to like this is, you know, it's just, you, you know, with Sketchbook, it's such a natural feeling medium that it just works great. that guy again there's that guy again you can kind of see so anyway 
here are some here are the choices. So um, overall, as a sketching program, sketchbook on all of these devices this is what I like to use. Uh, iPad is the best tablet, but not the best drawing tablet. This is the best drawing tablet, but not the best tablet. But it's not it's close. This is um, this is the best phone you know drawing um, thing that that you can get. Um, it's I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get used to this compared to just having an iPhone for for so long, but it no regrets here. Um, it has completely. I, I don't miss my iPhone with this thing. So um, without getting into iOS versus, versus Android stuff, just in general as a device, this is uh, really liking it. Um, Samsung uh, Series Seven Slate, great little thing, really hot, low battery life, really expensive but still a lot cheaper than a Cintiq. Um, so still a pretty pretty cool little machine. So these are my uh, digital kind of sketching programs and um, that's what I recommend. So thanks for watching.